Hello and welcome to the Red Fox Report presented by the Center for Sports Communication. That's Robert D. Felice. I'm James Haug, and today we have action to you coming to you for football, volleyball, rowing, and men's soccer. We're going to kick things off here with some action from football. The Red Fox is hosting Presbyterian for their Set the Expectation game, a campaign started to help combat sexual violence against women. On the opening drive here for the Blue Hose, Nate Hayden's pass is tipped and intercepted by the All-American Claiborne Fields, which would set up a two-yard touchdown for Glenmore Leonard Osborne. The Red Foxes defense has been firing all season, but this was an especially good game for the Foxes. With nine minutes and 40 seconds left in the second quarter, Brock Lugosi takes a shot downfield and is able to connect with Matt Stianchi for a 48-yard gain. This would set up a three-yard touchdown run for Amin Woods. The Red Foxes offense, which has struggled all season, really dominated this game, putting up a total of 337 yards. Later in the third quarter, Presbyterian just trying to show some life on offense, but linebacker Mike Arrington shuts that down as he strips sacks Nate Hayden and the ball is finally recovered by Tyler Rusher in the Blue Hose red zone. The Foxes go on to win 37-2-7. Coach Parody gets his 150th win as the head coach and Marist travels to Kentucky next week to play Moorhead. Next we have some volleyball action as Marist hosts St. Peter's. The Red Foxes host their final home game of the season in this max showdown. Marist up 24-18 in the first set after a Jaden resource serve. Mackenzie Tucker returns fire. Jordan Newblatt with the dig. McKenley Fox with the set. And Gabby Heller with the kill. First of five kills on the day for Heller. Marist takes the first set 25-18. Now in the second set, Marist looking to take a commanding 2-0 lead. Kendall O'Brien with the serve for the Foxes. The ball is up and over the net. The Peacocks receive it. Skylie Nelson with the return, but it's rejected at the net by Alyssa White. One of three blocks for White on the day. The most in the game. Maris takes set two, 25-14. Fox is now looking for the match point, and Mahler with the serve. Received by the Peacocks, and it's up and spiked by Morgan Thurlow, but it's out of bounds. Maris holds on to win set three, 25-21, and they win the match three sets to none. The men's and women's rowing teams competed at the head of the Charles Regatta in Boston on October 22nd. Both teams did very well with each with two boats competing. The men's eight finished 19th out of 41 crews with a time of 15 minutes and 12 seconds. The men's four finished 31st out of 39 crews with a time of 18 minutes and 10 seconds. The women's four finished 37th out of 52 crews with a time of 19 minutes and 51 seconds. And the women's eight finished 14th out of 40 crews with a time of 17 minutes and 13 seconds. On to men's soccer, Marist hosting Fairfield. It's senior night and the Foxes need a win to stay alive in the playoff hunt. Fairfield on the attack, played in the box and headed in by Alex Oliveira for his fifth goal of the season and the Stags take the one nothing lead about halfway into the first half. Two minutes later, Marist moving the ball. Jacob Schulman goes at it and he is taken down by the keeper James Anderson in the box. And the keeper charged with a yellow card, the first of six yellow cards given out on the day, and Marist is awarded a big penalty kick. On the ensuing penalty, Schulman connects as the keeper Anderson dives the wrong way. Schulman remains perfect on the year. He is now four for four on penalties, and this game is tied at one. 88th minute, last chance for Marist. Montuti plays it in. The ball finds its way to Henrique Cruz, who lasers it, but another diving save made by Anderson to keep the game tied at one. This is where it would end in a 1-1 draw. There would be no more opportunities for the Foxes as Marist is officially eliminated from playoff contention. That's all that we have for you today. I'm Robert D. Felice. This is James Haug for the Red Fox Report presented by the Marist Center for Sports Communication. We'll see you next time.